Hello and good morning. This is uh, our entrepreneurship spontaneous event. I'm Jeff Clark. And I'm John Murphy. And let's hop into it. So we received your email in regards to the whole employment situation, and we totally agree. I think more part-time workers would definitely improve sales. So starting out, uh, generally at Sweet Brew, we have 15 hour days and with the given uh, state requirements, miners can only work five hour shifts. So at a bare minimum, we need at least three part-time workers, one to work morning shift, afternoon shift and night shift. So here's what I propose. I say you hire two part-time workers from 7.30 p.m. or a.m., pardon me, to 12.30 p.m. And then another two part-time workers from 12.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. And then finally, a night shift worker from 5.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Now, in addition to that, I recommend that you hire an additional worker from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m and then another worker from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. just to fill in all those gaps and have a complete crew at peak hours. Um, I'll show you a little graph here. Granted, this is under the assumption, if you want to pause and take a peek at that, this is under the assumption that um, they won't get sick or will be able to attend work constantly on a constant schedule. But with that being said, uh, we can move on to the applicating, application screening process. John, if you will. All right. So I'll be giving some tips on how to screen and identify strong applicants. So you'll wanna focus on a few key traits and I'll start off with leadership ability. Now, if someone, if an applicant can talk about and demonstrate leadership ability, that's a big deal because it means they'll be able to work well with others and they'll be able to lead in general, which just can be very good in a stressful work environment. <clears throat> and the second one will be experience in customer service. And this goes especially for if someone has an experience being a barista, because that correlates directly back to what we're doing, obviously. And if they've had previous experience with customer service, they'll know how to handle themselves, how to be confident and it'll just be a better transition to the job in general. Number three will be being a quick learner. And if someone is a quick learner, they'll know how to learn all the drinks and the mixes, how to operate machinery, how to use the cash register. They'll just be a far better fit for the job because they'll be able to learn everything way quicker and it won't be as stressful for them or for us. And the last trait is being a people person or a sociable person in general. And if you have a, like a sociable person working behind the counter, it'll be a lot better for the customers and for everyone else behind the counter because you won't be awkward talking to the customers or taking orders. Things will go much more smoothly because if you're standing behind there all day and you can't communicate well with the customers, you're just not going to be a good fit for this sort of job. And moving on from that, there is also two or three appropriate interview questions that I've prepared for you that you could use if you'd like or something similar. The first one will be, recall a time when you were put in a leadership position and how did you handle it? And knowing whether or not, like if an applicant can come up off the top of their head a good time where they've been in a leadership position, it means that they've obviously had a good bit of experience with leadership. And knowing, knowing that they have a good amount of leadership experience will just reassure you that they'll be a good fit for the job and that they'll be able to handle working with others. The second one would be, how would you improve current displays to attract more buyers? And one of the things is if they come in, then they'll have to remember the displays they've seen, or if they've been in the store before, they'll remember them, which just shows whether or not they've taken the time to look around your store. And also it'll make them think on their feet and be creative to try and identify ways to get more buyers based off displays. And it'll show if they have a good sense of taste. And the third question would be, can you describe how you handle tight deadlines? And this one can almost be a deal breaker in some cases, because if someone can like handle deadlines efficiently, say they'll work from the most important task down until they're done with everything, 
that's what we're looking for because you'll want to get through all the customer's orders throughout the day and you want to be done with everything all the way from opening to close. And if they know how to do something like that, if they have good time management skills, then they're in good shape. And if not, then you'll have to consider whether or not they're a strong enough candidate for the job. And with all that being said, I'll hand it back over to my partner to talk about the training that employees will need. So now that you've hired your applicants, you're going to want to run them through some basic training. So the first training I would recommend you do is the cashier training teach this to every employee, you're going to want everyone in the store to know how to run the register. Next, I would teach them how to manage and run the machines, the espresso machines and the coffee machines and everything else in between. It's super important that they know how to run the store. And then third, I, rec I would recommend that they learn how to uh, make the items on our menu. As you know, we have many specialty items, specialty frappuccinos, coffees, et cetera, sweets that take some expertise to create. So it's of the uttermost importance to train them on how to make those menu items. And uh, next up, how to review or how to review, yeah, how to review your incoming employees. So the first thing I would recommend is having monthly meetings with said employee, um, have them self-evaluate, meet with you, come to a consensus on how they're doing, tell them how they can either improve or what they're doing well, and then go from there. I would also recommend peer reviews and one-year reviews just to emphasize those monthly reviews. And then in terms of safety, um, I see two major issues. One, the machinery, there's hot boiling water, there's moving components in the machines. There's so many things that could go wrong with the machines. It is of uttermost importance that they know how to properly handle and they know how to properly use all the machines. And for my second safety concern is just the overall, like, uh, sanitization of the store with COVID going around. It is of our uttermost importance to keep everything sanitized, wear masks indoors, have everyone, you know, socially distanced and overall safe. And I believe that does it. I, I deeply, deeply hope that you take all of our points into consideration and, um, have a fantastic day. Hope to see you working out there. Bye.